Hi, it's Bobby. Today I'm going to make my goddess and I use a face mold and some scrap clay that I, I rolled up and I rolled some into a ball. I want it to be really smooth on the end that I put in here because if you don't, and I spray water in there too, if you don't you'll get an all crinkled up face. So I'm going to put it in here and going to smash it down really good. I think I got this mold and two others with it on Amazon, but you can find them on Etsy, Amazon, eBay, they're everywhere. They don't cost very much. I use this one because this one is smiling and I like my goddess pendant to be smiling. Then I pinch it up at the back and I get through pushing it in real good so I can just ease it out and there she is really good impression okay now as you can see she's got a really deep face so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start whittling it down first I'll chip off, chop off this part I don't want to take the chin, so it might be very easy. And you have to really be careful that you don't smash in the face. But you see how wide that forehead is? I want to whittle that down some. So I'm going to take some off. You just got to work with it till you get it where you want it. And until you, you get it level too, because I want it to be pretty level okay all right a little bit more on this side and I should have it there we go and then I kind of shape her chin there and I take a shaper tool you can use just about any one thing you want that you know kind of can push in with I'm not gonna do too much to this face uh, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't okay just gonna Push the nose in a tad bit. And then I take um, a pointed tool. Now if I can find my, my sharp pointed tool. I'll just use a piece of copper. That's going to be a little bit too big. There it is. I can't find stuff sometimes on the table. There we go. deeper like that yeah much better
There we go. Let's smooth that. And I did get some creases in there, but I'm not going to worry too much about it there because I'm going to have uh, hair. I'm going to put hair there. And also, I need to give her eyes more accentuating, so I'm just going to do like that. There we go. And maybe a hint of an eyebrow. There we go. Now she's a forest goddess, so she's not going to be perfect. Okay, move all this out of my way. And then I'm going to take some clay to make her the pendant bottom to pendant bottom the, what I'm going to put her face on so let's see here okay just going to put these together and then I'll roll it out in the pasta machine yeah Doesn't have to be perfect here. Let me roll it out. I'm gonna put that. Now, I'm just take that off. Put it there. I like to roll it down the second thickest setting and then double it. Okay, that's my second thickest setting, but not enough to double it. So I'm going to do some more. There we go. Now it should be enough. Yeah. Perfect. Now I'm going to put her face right about there. And I don't want the pendant to be super big, but I want it to be big enough to put her hair and all that. So I'm going to start whittling this down too. It's going to be way too big. Put it about like that. Let's see what, how big that is. And yeah, that's going to be too big. So I'll keep on coming down. And I kind of do it in a nature kind of shape. Not perfectly round. I don't want it perfectly. hard for me to tell until I pick it up. Yeah, it's still too big. I always get too much going, but better to have too much at the beginning and be able to whittle it down to what size you want. Okay. That's probably going to be pretty good right there. Now what I do is I kind of smooth out the hard edge right there. I just take my finger and smooth it out. That's all I'm going to do. And if I need to, I can sand it when it's after it's been baked. Okay. Now, 
now I'm going to just, I decided what kind of hair I wanted to have. It's going to be like, uh, kind of like, uh, twisted dreadlocks or kind of on that idea. I'm going to have to roll out. What I need to do is move her out of the way while I do this. I need to roll out a lot of hair. And I really, I'm not a big fan of doing this little stuff like this. And I know this isn't as little as a lot of people go, but I, I don't usually have patience for the rolling out little stuff. But for her hair, it's totally worth it because it looks so good. Now you can make yours have hair of any kind you want. This is just what I like on mine. And I don't do it on all of them. I, whatever I feel like that day is the kind of hair I make. Okay. Now, for the first bit, I'm just going to rub that up smaller. Okay, I'm going to put the two ends together like that. Like that. And it doesn't have to be exactly even. Because she's a wild forest goddess. Okay, and I'm just going to twist it up. You can braid yours. You can put it in three and braid yours. You can make it straight. You can do it any way you want her to have her hair. I've done it all different ways. All right, now I'm gonna start right there. And I think I'm gonna bring it around. Okay, I need to cut this off about uh, there. And I'm gonna roll the end where it's smaller. I have to do this every now and then. Now I'm going to just let it twist around like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. Now, still got a lot left. I'm going to go around on this side. And I'm going to let it twist around. Well, the end of it. I'm going to twist it around like this. Yeah, like that. Cool. Now, more hair. And you can make this out of any color you want. I'm just doing it out of scrap. Uh, I like the colors of these scraps for a forest goddess. So that's what I'm going to have. Uh-oh. Too big at the bottom. I should cut that off and, and I think I'm going to because I've just got it way too long. Okay. Now I can make this smaller at both ends. It doesn't take much of this clay to make the hair, I'll tell you that. enough of this one. I'm going to use that for the bangs. There we go. And then I'm going to start twisting. And 
start it again. About right there. But this time, I'm going to have it go up like this. Yeah. And also, use a pen eraser or something and just kind of go down into the bang line like that. here and have it come around oh, I need to twist that some more yeah and then I'll just bring this around and put it like around just gotta work with it a little bit there we go now, I'm going to take this and cut into little pieces. Let's see, I think this would be about the right length. Yeah, I'm going to make bangs. And these do not I don't like the bangs to be all one length. I make them like different lengths. Ah, come on now. And I usually spend a lot more time on the face and the hair and all, but I'm trying to work it where this video doesn't go so long. There we go. Now, I'm going to take this and kind of work it to like a part there. An imaginary part. All right. And look, she's looking really good. And like that. Kind of make her hair look a little more natural. All right. Now, you can do what, like a do up at the top or you can add all kinds of detail to her face. You can do whatever you want there. That is totally what makes you happy is what you should do. That's what working with clay is all about. Artistic license. At least that's what I think. Um, let's see if I can shake that. Yep, a little better. Yeah, I'm just gonna make it worse. There we go. Alright, I'm happy with how she's looking there. 
Now I'm going to put her in for about 40 minutes on 275 and I'll be back. Okay, she's out and ready to either be glazed or um, to have resin put on her. And I think on this one, I'm going to put the resin. I don't put resins on everything I do, but because of the mixture of colors in this one, I think, I really think um, resin's the best way to go. And what I do is I, I put my UV resin in an old bottle. Man, I've had this a long time. It's a top it off, top gel bottle for nails that I keep regular UV resin in just for this, these kind of times. Now a lot of times I have to go ahead and put some resin on the item but the brush helps move it around because I'm not going to be doming resin on this piece so a brush it just works so well on it. UV, UV resin can really bring out different colors and and that's not really the reason I'm using them on this one. I don't know. I just feel like it would be like I say, I usually don't put it on the goddesses, but on this one, I think it'll be a plus. So I'm going to go with it. See how it turns out. I only use scrap clay on this, so it's not like I'm going to be out a lot if it doesn't turn out good with the resin, but I can't see how it's going wrong with the resin. We'll see. Sometimes it happens. Be back when she gets through in the UV light. Okay. I'm through. And here she is. With all the different colors that were in the scrap clay. And with the UV resin on her. I'm going to put a hook and eye at the top. And put it as a pendant on a necklace and you can use any color making this solid color mixed color however you want to make your own goddess have fun till next time